Jesse G. Things. What is up, Yup Gang? It's your boy Taxon, and welcome back to Yup DBSCD Things. Today I'm bringing you another exciting video. Of course, this is going to be another undefeated from our locals this week. This is Green Vidal. But before we get into the deck, guys, I do want to say if you want any custom mats and or sleeves, absolutely check out Promats, guys. The best place to go get your custom gear. Link in the description below for you guys to go check them out. And also, as you can see now on the screen, there is monthly tournaments held by Promat via Discord. So absolutely go check out the link in the description below to get more information on these tournaments. And with that being said, guys, if you like this deck profile or my content, in general absolutely go hit all those buttons subscribe like and notification bell and with that being said guys let's turn this camera around and show you the deck Alrighty, you guys so here we are with another undefeated from our locals this weekend this is Videl all right go ahead tell us what's in your deck and your matchups today yeah um, first up with uh, Videl's abilities uh, she's very strong with skillless cards uh, sh so we're gonna start with the eight of the one drop Videls and then two of the Sun Gohan Vanilla two drops which will work well with a card we'll be talking about a little bit later and then a playset of Chile behind the scenes heroin um, she's actually really clutch uh, draw a card and then from the rest of the point she's uh, skillless because my leader is a heroine, uh, which is really clutch with her ability because what she ends up doing is when you combo, when you end up using this Aeschylus in a combo, you get to draw a card and take a card from life. And that's just really, really, really strong with the self-awakening. Inherit self-awakening there. That is awesome. So you want to go over the leader's uh, front side effects, yeah. effects really quick? So on the front side, uh, Videl, she's a 5K. Uh, when she attacks, you draw a card. There's a, just a wall of text going on here. Uh, when she when you s combo with a Skillis, uh, you get to take a card from your uh, life and draw a card, uh, as well as you have Spirit Boost 1. Whenever you combo with a Skillis on your opponent's turn, you can Spirit Boost to play that battle card. Uh, when you flip her over, uh, same front side, or same as the front side in the first ability, except for a little more. When she attacks, you get to draw a card, and you can choose up to one of your green unison <laughs> cards and rest it and add the power uh, for that battle. And once per turn, when you combo with a skillless, you get to get give it an additional 4K power uh, combo power, and then you get to draw a card. And the spirit boost changes to when you spirit boost, you can spirit boost it on your turn or your opponent's turn, and it gives the uh, skillless card plus four, plus five k for the turn. So a lot of text there. A lot of wall of text. All of it is relevant. Uh, super combos. I use the great salmon vanquisher of villainy. Um, just really strong. Um, I've considered putting Paragus as well, just because sometimes there are times where I want to. Um, charge charge a different color because there are some black cards in here, but it's very rare. So he has been doing a great job. Yeah, absolutely. And is it is it relevant at all the bottom decking first? Uh, the bottom decking become is relevant sometimes. It's it can get rid of a lot of the extra cards that can bog down your hand. As you're gonna see, we run a lot of unisons. So sometimes you just need to bottom deck some of those unisons in order to get some combo power when you're running behind. Make, makes sense. Uh, next we have the Majin Buu, uh, Flood Negate, uh, we're playing at two. Um, you're going to find that this this card's very, this deck is very defensive anyway with a lot of its combo power, but it's just nice to have these Flood Negates when things get a little bit more aggressive, as well as we end up having things like Dormants. So, this but this, tar this card came in clutch, especially against my Finn matchup today. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, having a Flood Negate being a 10k leader is always important. Yes. Next up... Three great Saiyaman two. Uh, this strong card's really strong with the amount of vanillas we're running. Uh, that's why we actually run the two drop Gohan. Uh, she'll just bounce one of your cards that can be later used in a combo, um, or bounce the Chile to get an additional card draw and just play this two two drop Gohan from uh, drop or from deck depending on where where you end up having them. And the card just it gets really it gets real it puts a lot of power on board really fast. That 20k beater. Next we have the Videl with all her strength. Um, this is a card that I'm not 100% sold on, but I just don't think I found the matchup it's good in. I find that I end up charging her a lot, 
but she does do she does wipe out a battle card or take cards out of their hand if they don't want to uh, discard. Um, and she's just a 5K blocker for one, so that's always really strong as well. And it, and it can get played on your opponent's turn, which is uh, the best. The which best is the part best about part about her, yeah, for sure. Playing a pit, playing a blocker on your opponent's turn is always really strong. Next, we have the big boss, the the boss daddy for this deck, um, Sun Gohan Majin Exterminator. This card is insane. Deflect, double strike, dual attack. Uh, if your leader card is a green earthling, you get to grab two vanillas, put one on the bottom and one in your hand. Uh, then, so essentially basically draws you a card and put, fills your deck back up, especially in that mill matchup. And then whenever you, when he's in a, involved in a battle, he basically turns all of your skillless combos into plus 10k instead of plus 5k. Card is really clutch, especially with her leader, with your leader skill to give it plus 4k. So his first attack, you can just drop one if he's the first attack for a turn and then give it, and have it be a 33 double strike for, for your first attack. That's, that's crazy. And that's, that's just awesome. one card to do that. It's insane. And he's a dual attacker too. Which yeah. Is a great way to bait things out of an opponent's hand. Exactly. It's, he, can, he can really, he can do a number on their hand for sure. Uh, next, we're going to talk about the Charismatic Villains, which you really can't talk about anymore without including Fusamasu. Um, just strong card. I don't think there's much really to be said here. Uh, Charismatic Villain, really clutch, really strong, really powerful, especially with the number of green unisons that are being run in the deck, um, especially the one drop, which we'll talk about here in a little in a minute, and of course turning him into that Fusamasu, so he's just just strong. Can't be removed from the battlefield. When he attacks, they discard a card. Just can wreck someone's day. And he's indestructible, so he is not going nowhere. He's going nowhere. Uh, next up, we have Super Saiyan 3, Gohan, Man on a Mission. This card, when your opponent thinks you're done, he just comes up and he just swings. Uh, double strike critical, 20k for free. Just comes in hits and you have no problem filling up your drop zone so being able to play him yeah, uh, against combo when you're doing that drops gonna be filled up really quickly against the Bulma matchup um, I ended up playing him after he had he had exhausted all of his resources and just was able to swing with him for victory he's really strong is there anything you changed that with uh, any reason why you chose that over other free overalls the he really it's just the double strike critical uh, he's really strong for a finisher if I mean so if you had Bardock's fighting against Fate, you'd, you'd still run this over it. Maybe uh, I'd have I have I'd have to test it, test the two cards against each other. But I find that sometimes sometimes you want to push, but don't want to put cards in their hand as well. So the critical end up can be really really clutch as well. Yeah. Next, uh, arguably the best seeker rare in the game. Pan is a house. Um, you're you're going to be flooding the board with with battle cards yourself, let alone including your opponents, and she's she just does everything that you you're gonna ever want in a in in a card. Stop it, flood negating as well as um, paying one to steal something, and she's a free play. I don't think there's enough that can be said about her that just that doesn't say she's just fantastic. Hatch and heroin's lineage on one card. Exactly. Now we're gonna get into the unisons. Uh, first, we have Great Saiyan, Mysterious Hero. Um, this card, you're gonna be uh, you. You are searching for this to play turn one. Um, you're gonna find that also here in the deck. We're also playing Heart of a Maiden at a two of. You wanna you basically wanna find one of these two cards in your opening hand. Um, finding, being able to basically draw a card and look for a, a skillless battle card so you can use your your skill to start working on getting Awakening. Um, his plus one just lets you find it. Also, his, when you Spirit Boost which you're going to do a lot of. You just get to kill a battle card with two or less. It's really strong, and it, it does so much work. I'm sure that came in really clutch in the Bulma matchup. Uh, came, came, that card came in clutch in my Bulma matchup and in my matchup against uh, Chilled. Um, Heart of a Maiden, uh, you just look at your top seven. If you've already got the uh, Great Salmon, she'll find you two skill, up to two skillless in your top seven. Uh, otherwise, you're just searching for that great salmon, and the thing that's really cool about it is she actually just plays it out with one marker. 
So she doesn't just find it and put it in your hand. She'll just play it right out of the deck. Okay, so that, ba that basically makes it six copies of the Great Sam in there. Correct. Yep, basically. Uh, next up, we were having a little trouble trying to figure out what what to do because there wasn't really much strength in the way of ways to power up uh, your skill assist. So you're sitting there with an army of 10Ks and nothing to do with it. Then we started talking and we found this uh, Goku Jr. and Vegeta and Vegeta Jr. Saiyan Scions. This card is insane. Um, it lets you find everything that you need, um, boosting up all of your all of your 10Ks into 15Ks. So you're swinging for much for much deadlier numbers. Uh, that minus one to find two skillless that you can, if you want to, you can use them in the com in combos. Um, I haven't really used his my their minus two, but. It, these two, just their plus one and minus one, have just been detrimental to any opponent I've played it against. Um, this card really came in clutch against Bulma, as, or yeah, against Bulma as well. Absolutely, with that early rush down mechanic. Mm -hmm. Next up, we're playing two Vegeta, Resolute Agent of Destruction. Uh, this card, this this card's a house. Uh, Discard a discard a hand, card from your hand. Destroy chaos every one of your opponent's battle cards with barrier on play. Uh, double strike critical uh, plus one makes it a twenty five. So just being able to playing this on turn four against a wide against someone who's going wide, it it there's not it does they can't really do much about it. Also, he's um, a huge threat. Right. The moment, like, from the moment he hits the board, they have to try and answer it immediately. And this is definitely really strong. Um, really makes your opponent have to have to play a lot smarter around it. Uh, getting into the extra cards, we have three dormant. Um, I find that can't can't go into a green deck without wanting to put these dormants in. This card is insane, especially with unisons, with the number of unisons we're playing. We're playing six green unisons, so the the card is almost always free. Um, pop a two or less. I've actually considered putting this at four. Um, the only problem is like the the fact that it doesn't stop the attack, but that's it's stop being able to stop them from really kill, from killing you too fast is always strong. And then uh, four of the shocking death ball. Um, just just your strong the strong green negate uh, counter. Kill, uh, KO a two or less, and with Sparking Five to be able to take a card from life, it just it it wreck it it can wreck anybody who's playing a low curves day and just strong. Which is uh, four shocking? Is is there a reason behind this? Uh, do you not like the homicidal clone card? I'm not a big fan of homic. I like homicidal clone because it's it it it's basically a two for. Um, I like. I've been considering playing around it, but it's just nice to also sometimes when you're really low in life, being able to leave one open and just be able to use that use that as well. I just feel like um, Homicidal Clones would be a great addition to the deck. Uh, yeah. A, a really easy way to help keep your unisons alive in turns that you need it there. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, definitely something to be considered. Homicidal Clones is a fantastic would be a fantastic add. Um, I, I've been I've been looking around thinking about whether or not I want to add it, and I I. I have been leading more on the side of actually adding it, and it's it would be pretty cool. It definitely helps protect the unisons, and that's definitely something that this deck needs to do is protect its unisons. Yeah, especially since it comes out turn one on a turn where you can't attack. Uh, mm -hmm. Going into a turn where your opponent can't attack, it only comes out with like a I think it gets to have three markers on the turn it's played, or maybe it's just two, and then it's just what nine k. Mm -hmm. It's like a low uh, number, so it just loses markers. I easy. think he's he's six k. Yeah, six k. Yeah, six k, so, and then he just goes up to eleven with the. That help a lot. Yeah, that that is something. To, that's definitely something to consider. All right, man. Well, with that being said, that is your deck. Uh, any shoutouts you'd like to? Um, no, no, no shoutouts. Um, just my buddies in the in our in our in our, most of our more of our team. I like to call us Team Coke Toast because that's just what we're all about. Good times. <laughs> Alrighty, man. And with that being said, guys, this is the deck profile. If you like the profile or my content in general, absolutely subscribe. Hit a like on this video and hit that notification bell. With that being said, we will see you guys next week. Deuces.